Hey guys, it's Cass. Welcome back to another episode of The Cruel King and the Great Hero. We left off last episode with me absolutely getting my butt kicked, unable to defeat, after trying I think three or four times, defeating this interesting looking dragonfly type thing I think. We're gonna pick up from there, see if we can get that figured out, and then see if we can finish this kind of mission that we're helping our little fox Rocky on to retrieve the floating, I believe, pink flowers. So let's jump right on into this and see where we left off. Yeah, we're looking for the glowing pink flowers. And I know that we have to fight right here, this dragonfly, which we haven't um, gotten so lucky on, but I, I wanted to try something different before I totally just give up on this area. I think we're just going to attack for now. Mm. We're just going to hit him with both the good stuff. Okay, so I think we've been continuing to try to fight here. Um, and I think I'm actually going to try to guard here since it does three times the damage. Three times the damage. Oof. I should have healed him. Okay, so I need to... Oh. Maybe should have played this better. Oh. He's going to hit me again, but I need to heal. Yeah, I need to do this. Let's do our flame slash again. I wish my little, I was going to say my puppy, um, but he's not a puppy, <laughs> he's the fox, even though I'm kind of treating him like he's one of my puppies. I think I need to heal with the power fruit. He's going to attack me again, but, ugh, okay. Oh my goodness, okay. Hopefully I have it in me to keep up with this. <laughs> I don't have enough yet for another flame slash thing, so hopefully we could do that here in a minute. I'm just gonna have to take the hit. Ugh. But we have enough for the flame slash again. Oh my goodness. He is tough. Revives and restores half of a fallen, a fallen ally's stamina. 
I have to do the power fruit probably twice, but that other one would be really cool. Ugh. I'm just gonna have to heal again. Okay, so now I need to guard. Still gonna do some pretty bad damage to me. I'm gonna do a flame slash. Please take it out, finally. Oh my goodness, we did it. <laughs> Obtained 350 shells and 30 XP. Leveled up. And my poor guy is asleep. After a struggle, you and Rocky finally drove the beast away. Huff, huff. Are you okay, Rocky? Rocky affirms you with a small cry. Thank goodness. I'll heal him. Why was such a frightening monster here in the first place? You mold to no avail. It bothers me, but that's not important right now. We need to find that shiny flower. You saved her concern for another time. All right, Rocky, let's go. Their path continued. They're trekked into the forest. The pear, not the path. The pear. First, we absolutely... I think it's an item. Yes. It's funny when I don't play something for a few days. Um, because I forget things. We were on our way here. Okay. I'm glad I was able to defeat him because I think after about three or four times I was unsuccessful last time. Look at how pretty! Look at the box! Rocky, look! <laughs> These flowers are super shiny. Planted by the side of a fountain were the pink flowers the two had been searching for. Ever so carefully, you picked one of them. Good, it's still shining. Alright, let's get back to your family, Rocky. Just then, the fountain began glowing the same shade as the flower you had just plucked. A figure appeared from within, something that wasn't quite human. I welcome you to the Fountain of Wishes. I am its guardian spirit, uttered the fountain spirit, introducing itself to you. Uh, um, hello there. You was thrown off by the spirit's unexpected emergence. Despite this, the spirit continued, this fountain grants any wish to those... With strong will. Now state your wish. Oh, how cute. Oh, hello, pause. <laughs> my, my wish? The fountain spirit nodded slowly in response. Um, I want to become a great hero, but... You breaks out of her bewilderment. To consider her answer carefully. It wouldn't be fair for my wish to be granted. Aha, <laughs> admirable. You giggled in response to the praise. The fountain spirit reached out and gently touched Yu's blushing cheeks. Then I shall grant you a small blessing. Around the world, you will find similar fountains to mine. They will offer you repose whenever you are in need of it. They will be a great aid on your adventure. The fountain spirit concluded with, May the fountains be your guiding light before disappearing. She's gone! What was that all about, I wonder? Something about it felt familiar. You fell into a daze. Bark, bark. Rocky urged you to return to his family. All right, we've got to hurry and deliver these uh, into the winter beyond the forest. Oh my goodness, let's save them. Look at the little things in the background. Plucking a single petal from the flower, you and Rocky for first handed it to the youngest cub. The cub was enveloped by the soft pink glow before long its down. We did it! It worked! <laughs> bark, bark. The two each cured the remaining family members. Yay! In no time, Rocky's family had been healed. You helped us, even though we are complete strangers. You have my greatest thanks. The Vicken, v vixen expressed her gratitude. Ah, oh, don't thank me. I just... I was just helping out, Rocky is all. He worked really hard to get you all better again. <laughs> Rocky's family all had tears streaming down their faces as they celebrated their recovery. You became a little teary-eyed herself. I'm happy for you, Rocky. He was genuinely glad she was able to help Rocky's family. Before you had realized the sun was about to set, it was time for her to return home. 
Rocky called to you as she left, promising that he'd help her whenever she was in trouble. Thanks, Rocky. See you later. Parting with those words, she ran back to the Dragon King, who was awaiting her return. I want him to be with me. Rocky was sad to see you go, but cried out his goodbyes until she disappeared from sight. Look for the Dragon King. You has parted with Rocky. When it, a companion parts ways, their accessories will be returned in the place of used possession. Returning companions come without any accessories, so equip them before journeying. I have to go back with Dad now. Okay. Oh, he's just right here. Talk. Oh, no, just talk. Shall we head home? Yeah. All right, then climb on my back. You and the Dragon King returned to their mountain den, but a suspicious figure lurked in the shadows of a tree. Mm, rat. I went through all that trouble to get that monster to the hill, but I didn't expect it to succumb to you. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. I must do something soon. I have no choice. I've planned this for too long. It's time I put the wheels in motion. Ki ki ki, everything will go just as planned. You will surely yield next time. Go to bed. Yay, run! I don't believe these guys, I haven't checked, but I don't believe any of them say anything different. So last time we had a few of the, what were they called? Acts of Kindness? I believe two to still finish kind of in the village area. So we might take care of that um, for the, the remainder of whatever this episode is, unless something comes across that is different. Oh, yes, it is time for, for bed, sleep, good night. The day had come to an end as they always did. You and the Dragon King lay comfortably in their bed you regaling the Dragon King of her adventures in the The Dragon King was pleased that you had helped someone in need. If you continue as you are you, the day someone calls you a hero is sure to come. Hee hee hee, you think so? I can't wait. Now you, let's get some sleep. How about a tale of the great hero? Yes, please. What does he do this time? Today I will recount the time a hero defeated a terrible monster in White Thread Valley. After the battle, the young man had the monster cornered. He was one strike away from victory, but he didn't deliver the finishing blow. I believe you merely followed the Demon King's orders. For that, I will spare your life. Instead, I ask that you consider the error of your ways. The young man laughed, the village now freed from the Demon King's tyranny. It is said that the villagers came to commend him for his deeds. But that's all for tonight. Having finished his story, the Dragon King turned to look at you. <laughs> Papa, he helped so many people and he became a hero because of it. Yes, that's why you, in order for you to, and she snoring obviously before he could finish, you had fallen fast asleep. Hmm, she's fast asleep. The Dragon King gently stroked Yu's head, finishing his thought to himself. That's why, in order to be recognized as a hero, you must defeat a very cruel monster, one feared by many. Yeah, snow pink and a mountain. One day, the Dragon King was tending to his kingly duties of listening to his servants' daily reports before delegating their next tasks. So the East Valley Bridge broke. The humans use that quite often. We should have that fixed as quickly as we can. See to it that it's done. As you wish, your majesty. Despite being a monster himself, the Dragon King was often giving orders to aid the humans. It was not unusual in that many of the other monsters did not think highly of the humans. The monsters, while reluctant, respected their king. Why should we help those ugly humans? But if the king requested it, I suppose I must. The monsters found themselves doing rather well despite their misgivings. Suddenly a servant named Saibat barged into the throne, it looked like the person hiding, into the throne in a flurry. Y Your majesty, something terrible has happened. Saibat explained the situation to the king, his voice becoming higher with each word. <clears throat> 
Saibat spoke of hun honey, crystal woods, where the honey bears, honey bears, and the honey bees had begun arguing with one another, and that's a conflict was sure to arise if not dealt with post-haste. After listening to Saibat's report, the Dragon King said, My goodness, they always seem to be on such good terms with one another. He mulled over the cause of their feuds and told Saibat, They must have a reason for this. We must look into this matter. I have someone special in mind to assist you, if you wouldn't mind. Huh? Do you mean me? He was surprised at the thought. Yes, of course. I've heard great things of Miss Yu's adventures. The compliment made Wu perk up. Seeing this, Saibat's face developed a devilish grin. Dad, I want to go! <laughs> Yu's puppy dog eyes made the Dragon King ponder his decision. Finally, he gave in. All right, then. I shall keep an eye on her, being the most knowledgeable of the matter. It would be a good idea for me to take lead. Thanks for doing that, Saibat, even though you're lying. <laughs> Together, Saibat and you left to the throne room. Hmm, something feels off. It's because it is, bro. A troubled expression waft washed over the Dragon King's face as he saw the two off. You received a special blessing from the fountain spirit and can utilize magic powers from the fountains around the world. Due to their mysterious power, you will be able to warp to any of the fountains she visits. And if you drink from the fountain, her stamina and energy will be restored. Remember to stop at any pink fountains you come across. Awesome. Okay, so I have to go there, but I kind of want to do some of these acts of kindness. And then I think um, going to Honey Crystal Woods might wait till next episode. You were in an act of kindness, were you? No. You. Didn't we have... Wait. I mean, let's quick save, because why not? Um, not that way. Is it my scrapbook? Yeah. Um, ongoing act of kindness. I want to set this as my objective, I think, before I go running off to that. So in that case, collect firewood. So I still kind of need to go that way too. Let me let me work on one at a time here, sheepy. <laughs> They're in the cage. Collect dry wood. Need to go down here, right? Mm -mm. Who are you? Oh, did you have some business with me? No, nothing. He here, quite strange little girl. Ah. Resting near the pink fountain restored my strength and energy. Awesome. But I think I need to go down this way. I'm trying to collect wood. What do you have to say? Looks like it's another fine day. Perhaps it's a good day to try out the medicinal herbs. I almost said mechanical. That's not what I mean. Talk to you. The honeybees and honey bears are fighting, so be careful if you're heading that way. Um, I'm gonna go out to the world. How do I get there from here? So I don't want to go here. I want to go... I want to go to the hillside mountain. Oh, so I went the wrong way. This kitty! That's going to the honeybees and honey bears. 
Let's backtrack. All back. You go up. Go up. I will help you with some stuff in a minute, maybe. Right now I'm a little busy. Am I closer? Nope, still gotta keep going. Say it sounds awfully close. <laughs> okay. This way. I just wanna complete this um I had started it and then I knew there was a few. Oh, Cybats with me? I forgot all about that. See what you can do. Rude! Mm. Awesome. Whoa, what a strong guess. It looks like the road keeps going, but I can't get across. Oh, I want to go up anyway, because I got to go around. Man, Cybat makes this like real easy to get through. Like real easy. <laughs> Up. Yeah, and we just need to run all the way across this. Getting closer, yeah. To the next little cave. Some. Uh oh. Nice. Obtain dry wood. Wait, is there another one right here behind me? I don't know if I'm just supposed to look for fights here to get the wood. Wood. Okay, awesome. Still have me here. Yeah. Okay, let's fight one more time. Who wants to fight? Hmm. 
Mm -mm. Awesome. So that was our last piece of wood. Gather three bundles of dry wood, give them to the blacksmith. Awesome, let's go back. Which I'm not necessarily, of course, upset about any of these little fights, just helping me level up, get better at fighting, fighting more. Little massive. I also want to find the merchant in the shop as well, like the shopping area. Definitely stuff. That's for sure. And just more healing potions, I think, and see what else else they have. Uh oh, go down. I feel like I should peek this way. Side quest. Shh. I don't know what else is this way. Hey. There's a human village up ahead. Stay away for your own good. Okay, I'm not going there. Nice, I'll take it. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, just kidding, I thought I had go. Like we're fighting instead. I thought I was going down. We'll just go drink out of the pink fountain. Okay, see the black seal. I assume maybe these like acts of kindness just continue to pop up here. Um since we'd already done one for that um one sheep right here. No, I need to give it to the blacksmith. Um since we'd already done one for the other sheep. Oh young lady, that was quite quick. Really though. <laughs> Hi, you've brought three bundles of dry wood. Thank you. Here's your reward. Please take it. I'm truly so sorry for making you do this for me out of the blue. It was nothing. I'm helping others who are in need right now. So if you ever need run into trouble again, just let me know. What a wonderful girl. Oh yes, that reminds me. Idea is an inventor who lives nearby. He seems to be having trouble with something or other. As intelligent as he is, he has a habit of overthinking things. Oof, I feel that. If you have a moment to spare, would you help him? He's a bit eccentric, um, but he has good heart. I'll leave him to you. The worried blacksmith. Cha-ching! 
He received a reward for the act of kindness, Hunter's Gauntlet. What does the Hunter's Gauntlet do for us? This is damage against beast monsters. Sure, why not? Sword, all we have is okay. I also want to find the merchant, so let's check on what um this sheepy needs again, and then I want to make sure I stop by the merchant. What do you need? <laughs> Oh my, I miss you. How do you do? Say, are you free by any chance? How do you do, madame? Um, if it's help you need, I'm all ears. Is something the matter? Per perceptive as always, miss you. Something vexing just occurred to me. I'm beside myself. Lend me an ear? Sure thing. You see, the sheep tribe owns a number of businesses in the village. Are you familiar with the business rivals? Are they the same thing as any other kind of rival? Not them, they're not. They're constantly harassing my family. They've caused us so much pain. The wolf tribe is an utterly unruly bunch, yet they claim they protect the village. Fight business with business, cowards. The deep breaths, madame. Sigh, pardon me. Now miss you. Last night those blasted thieves made off with my most precious keepsakes. Horrible. They're beyond forgiveness. They merely... The mere thought is infuriating. Ah, Miss Yu, I have a favor to ask of you. So, oh, oh, um, I know you want me to bring back the stuff they stole. I love our little emojis. Preposterous. I know how to read. That alone will not suffice. You must infiltrate the territory, <laughs> the territory, and utterly annihilate their prized possessions. Oof. Um, I don't think I've already set another agent of chaos. Rendezvous with Felicia for further instruction on your mission. I'll leave it in your hands, Miss Yu. This is a deserved penance. Now crush those brutes. Those blasted mongrels are. Um, all right. Anyway, I'll go meet with up with Felicia, okay? The madame's conflict number one, all gone. How many conflicts does she have with people? Hi. What is it? Hey, don't look. Oh, I don't like that he's in there. Buy some goodies, buy some good. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, oops. Hello, welcome. Yeah, I meant to hit the shop button. Can I sell you stuff? No, I don't want to sell. I want to buy. Can I buy 11? Yes. Healthy fruit for... Yeah. Renewal. Revives and stores. Yeah, I want like four of these. Ooh, that's a lot. Maybe we just have one. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about that. Ice amulet stamina. Ooh, I don't have one of these. Sold out. Brand new pot? Yeah, we want a brand new pot. Heck yeah, we do. Cute. Thank you for your patronage. So we can get a new pot. Dented pot. New pot. Power ring. Attack two. What is the hunter's one? I think I want to change this one out, even though I just got it. Stamina. I want to get... What are yours? Normal cloak. Random stone. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if I go... Scrapbook... A dam's conflict. I want to sit set this one. Um, and that's back in the monster village, right? So if I end up going out, London, side. 
Oh, so it's here in the monster village. Well, it's just this way? That wasn't very far. Do we have the pink, ah, uh, the pink fountains down below? Maybe we just go take quick peeks at it. Just, you know, have a quick rest. I'll listen to Felicia. Going the right way. No. Is this Felicia? Hi. You Felicia? Yes. Are you you by any chance? My name's Felicia. I serve as Madame's seventh aide. She's OP. Oh, so you're Felicia. Hey there. I'm Wu. I'm sure Madame already briefed you, but let's go over it again. Uh, hold on just a sec. When I spoke with her, she just got super mad and told me to damage the wolf's property. But it feels wrong. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I expected as much. I get it. I actually was thinking you could just take back what was stolen you. Huh? That's it? I always disagree with using such destructive and vengeful methods. Keep that between you and me, okay? Heck yeah, secret safe with me. I only want to recover the prized items in Madame Goldie's collection. I prefer if her belongings could be exchanged over civil conversation, but those wolves won't hear it. Goldie's collection was taken by the wolves. Uh, and hidden away in one of their many treasure chests. It'll definitely be in one of them. Can you recover Goldie's collection from Wolf's you? If that's all, then sure, I can get to it. I'll search for the Wolf's treasure chest for Goldie's collection. Excuse me. Thanks a bunch. Good luck out there. Find Goldie's collection. It's, I don't think it's going to be... So it's down in the hillside mountain. Gosh. So I have to get to it from there. Oops, oops, oops. Go to the hillside mountain. I legitimately don't have any clue how I get there. Is that? I'm having such a hard time. I have to go to the tree. Okay, so I have to go back this way, right? All the way back this way. Okay, now let's see where we're going. Right away. Back into the cave. I don't know what that, um, I like have the friend with me. Maybe I should check in with that sheep too. Rude dude. Was so it's this way still. I'm trying to figure out what. Oh. Okay, so that makes sense. I was just curious what that meant. Okay, so from here, I think we just need to run all the way across and go inside.
I can't believe my health is able to be up in the 70s now. That feels wild. Things should be out this way. Ooh, we have a new one. We've seen the moss toads before. And then I think I'm going to observe the... I want to observe... Survey. Toxic toad. Luby, let's play. Don't ignore me, please. Leveled up! Geez, 85? Holy smokes! Obtain power fruit! Okay, we gotta keep going. I wanna peek. <laughs> it's worth peeking. Always peeking. Really? There was nothing down here? Boo! I was hoping for some kind of hidden goodie. Maybe it's something I'm already found. I have already found before. Oh, geez, oh, Pete. All right. We don't have any skills. We should actually be attacking the same ones together. So we got rid of two. Get rid of this one right now. We just have one more little bun. Rabbit trouser. Slash. Take that. need to keep walking this way after we You guys are being rude. Real rude, you know that? Well, they get to level up too. They have a skill. Really cool. I believe I go through here. Yep. I just do do. Hmm. This looks fun.
What is your skill? Provoke enemies while raising your evasion? Ooh, we need to take those bros out quick. Why are you guys attacking me? I'm gonna eat a power fruit and you can attack. Down Angel's Cure. Don't know what that is. I get one and you get one. I don't know if we'll be able to take him out. I'm just confused because how am I supposed to find something? What I'm looking at now? From Goldie's collection. Oh, duh. They said that stuff would be. Does a bit of energy and stamina for all allies or, or enemies? Def not enemies. I guess I could equip them with something. Here. So we found one, so we have to go find chest down. Two chests down lower at least. Ugh. You guys suck, you know that? I think you guys suck. Let's try mock. Uh -oh. I'm always going to heal myself for <laughs> It's fine because you hit me anyway you jerk Okay, both need to be healed. Sheesh, I need to buy a bunch of those.
flame slash. <laughs> the crabs are like the least of my concern. They're just annoying. I don't know if I can wipe out this guy. I hope I can. Oh, I didn't. I'm kind of surprised it didn't go into defense mode like it usually does. To go down. Oh no, there's a chest here. Just kidding. Get there in a minute. Don't touch it. You say that, so I guess that makes sense to not. Don't touch it. So then what do we do? You think we just guard? I guess, right? Because then it does damage to us. Ah, look, I'm learning. <laughs> now I get to beat it up. And I didn't want to hit it. I don't want to hit it if it's going to give me damage. Okay, so... The next one we need is down. And we could go get something, something goody from Goldie. The fact that all four of them get to hit us, I mean, of course it's like. Make. Very nice. Level up! It's going this way, right? Chest on each side. Watch, it's gonna be the side I don't go to. You know? That's just how luck works, right? <laughs> I just have to fight 15 more times before I can make it anywhere.
Oh, sweet. He leveled up. Very nice. Down 420 shells. Heck yeah. Light robe that is on the other side. What is a... Would that be inventory? Pointy fangs. I don't know what they do. Stone. Old rag. Soft and baggy clothing. Low defense but increases speed and evasion. I believe I could change those out somehow, but I don't exactly know how. I thought that our clothing space was filled up with our um, pot. Heck. I want you to attack him too, and then we'll take out the other bat. Or we take out the crabs. Get out of here, dude. Flame Slash! Smack! <laughs> Such a good skill. Oh, I don't want to do skill. And guard a bunch. Oops, guard. 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 One more time! Did we find it? Yeah! So we found all of that. Now we have to head back all the way and fight along the way. I can't wait till I can upgrade my sword. Wonder when that will come. Oh, these guys suck. Uh, 
devs a pa some power to do some really bad damage here. I think, no offense to you, dude, I'm a little slightly more important. And then I'll heal Saiba. Up. I just want to go straight. I believe. Could be entirely wrong. We'll just be fighting a lot walking through here to get back out. Uh oh, just kidding. So I could finish my act of kindness. We might do one more. I'm already getting to an hour. I should have hit the same button. Um, oh geez. I'm getting to an hour um, of gameplay. I feel like that's always so hard like with episodes because I don't want to go too long, but I also don't want to be taking too much of my sweet time. If these continue to, like, the acts of kindness continue to generate, I think they may be like some side quests and side things that we do so that they're not becoming kind of the full episode like this um just so that it's not routing some of the content related to the game i guess just because i don't want to then do another um like episode where i'm just doing acts of kindness again Cause I want to go to the honey, the honey bee and the honey bears. Let me see you back there, dragon. So give the goods to Goldie. I think these acts of kindness are good to do though, since they're giving me stuff that otherwise I would probably have to purchase. I trust you, miss you. Felicia awaits in the village square. Now go exact revenge on my behalf. No, am I not supposed to give it to you? Am I supposed to give it to someone else? If I am to... Who are you? Oh, what's wrong? Did you ask me something? <laughs> I guess I didn't. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, Wildcat was likely too embarrassed that other people might hear her. Next time, try asking her to sing while there are fewer people around, okay? Oh, that makes sense. I'll do that. Wildcat will definitely sing then. Thanks for the help, Felicia. Think nothing of it. Oh, you're back, you. Hmm. You have a friend of Felicia's? I'm Howler of the Wolf Tribe. Pleasure's mine. My name's you. Nice to meet you. Anyway, I got my damn stuff, Felicia. Ah, yep, it's Goldie's collection, all right. Thank you so much, you. That is all, thanks. As Madame's plan for revenge goes, just leave the talking to me, okay? I sure... I'm sure I can think of a, of a fib or two. Hmm, wait, are the wolf and sheep tribes butting heads again? Yeah, the bosses are the same as ever. Funny considering us lack keys <laughs> can chew the fat without a hitch. I've been thinking of ways I could get along better with the other wolves, but it's a bit complicated, you know? Yeah, seems like it. It'd be great if other wolves were willing to hear me out, but most wouldn't give me the time of day. It's because they want to eat you. <laughs> you and Heller seem to get along, though. Of course, we're pals. I think it's messed up the way the adults try to stop us from getting along. I may not know a whole bunch, but I know that folks with that kind of attitude are no friends of mine. Anyway, don't be a stranger, you. No, you can count on me as a friend, too. Sure, you got it. Eee, nice. Oh, but come to think of it, why are our tribes fighting in the first place? How did all this even start? Oh, that's a good question. I'm actually not sure myself. Hmm. I wish the adults would get along too. It's making life complicated. Eee. So I received an evasion bracelet and 150. I think let's go down to the pink, pink fountain. Gosh, this pink fountain. So happy I have this. So we can rest, get restored. I don't think I've um, necessarily messed with too many of the other things. I talked to you. Hi, so busy, so busy, busy. Oh no, is this an act of kindness? Oh, I'm in trouble. What do I do? I'm in big trouble. Someone please help me. It's so busy, very busy. Anyone will do. Ah, so, so, so busy, busy, busy. I need someone. What's wrong? Hmm, I haven't seen you before. Who are you again? My name is you. Nice to meet you. Oh, how courteous. We are the seamsters, Ned and Nary. I'm Ned and this is, I guess, Nary. But more importantly, we're in a bind, a huge bind. We, we won't be able to make, oh, I didn't read it. Whoops, what delivery. Hey, you're getting ahead, way too ahead of yourself, Nary. Don't trouble the girl, breathe, Nary. <laughs> this isn't the time, we have to hurry, really hurry to rush to finish the Star Festival Maiden's costume, no time. That was much more concise, Nary. <sighs> My, all that yelling must have tuckered her out. She's still standing. It's likely because she works through the night. <laughs> do you two need help? I'd love to lend a hand. I'm helping others in need right now. Goodness, do you mean it? We'd love your help. You were in so, so much trouble. Miss you, have you heard of the Star Festival? Can't say I ever have. It's a big, huge festival in the village. Two maidens are chosen by the tree in the plaza to represent the star festival. At night, when the stars are near, we give each other star festival star bits. Oh, it's like the star bits with the lumas in the Mario galaxy. <laughs> and watch the maidens sing and dance. Before the festival begins, we make the star bits. We hang. We make the star bits from the honey in the honey crystal woods to exchange. Miss you. I'll spare you all the details for the time being. Our jobs as seamsters is to make costumes for the maidens. We want to make the costumes, but the materials are so very rare, so special without them we can't. What materials are you missing? First, we'll need the base fabric for the costume. We'll need three bundles of sil silver hair to start, but only some monsters carry silver hair, so it's not a walk in the park to get. Okay, I just have to gather three bundles of sil silver hair from certain monsters, right? Yes, yes, thank you. I've marked the places on your map where to find them. I'm counting on you, Miss You. Okay. Since these are rated at being like one, oh gosh, that's all the way up at the Moon Hill. Someone is waiting for you's help. Time to go. So someone's waiting for my help up there. Cross cultural exchange. Someone's waiting for my help there. Someone's waiting for my help there and there. Day's End. Complete story. I'm not sure what a day's end is. 
Um, but I think right now our big thing is going to be going to the Honey Crystal Woods, which is where we will pick everything up um, next time we come in. And if we see, we just have to go down and around. Um, quickly, though, I want to go up here and go buy some more stuff from the merchant, and then we will be calling it a day on this episode. So I could get this up and then pick up in the honey, by the honey bears and the honey bees um, next time we're in. See if you have anything extra good. Stamina brown cut. Uh, let's see. Yes, buy that, so 20. I want to buy another one of these. Oh geez, I wanted to buy one, not two. Bought compress. Ooh, 600 shells. I didn't think about that. I just spent all my shells. Done already. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Okay, so then, like I said, next time we come in, we will be coming down here to the Honey Crystal Woods, where we're gonna see. I'm curious to see what their honey bees and honey bears look like. Um, but yeah, let's make our way down that way really quickly, just so when we come in next time, we're already ready to go. Um, and jump into that. All the acts of kindness, I'll just try to sprinkle probably throughout everything. We're all healed up. We bought stuff. We should be good and ready to go. Which is cool. I wanted to see what it looks like if I say teleport real quick. Sorry. Travel to another fountain. So I can go to the Crystal Moon Hill in the Blooming Forest that way. That's awesome. So for some of those acts of kindness, I already have the stuff ready to go for that. So this is the way down. So for right now, that's where we're going to end this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this cute little game just as much as I am. Um, and we'll keep pressing on. And next is the Honey Crystal Woods. But thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye!